Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think we are very close to... well... Uh, <laughs> we are clearly in the later stages of the game, but I was gonna say that I think we are close to... finding the commander at least. Yeah, that's gonna be it, right? We're gonna find the commander... Oh, this is... ah, there they are, our friends. Ready to help us out. You've brought the red chain? Django, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rift, I think it may be Almighty Sino. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. I guess he wanna do it... Uh, he wants to do it on, on his own. That might be, you know... I mean, obviously it's risky, I suppose. I suppose he's doing it out of his good heart. He doesn't want anybody to get hurt or something. But who knows at this point? Oh, look at it. <laughs> look at him. In his battle armor. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but uh, can I truly put my faith in such tales? Well, I would say, of course. <laughs> of course you should, my friend. What, do you think even the red chain is some trick on Django's part? He worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know. I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise to the trials set by the three Pokémon of the lakes. If he somehow concocted... Well, okay. <laughs> Concocted all of that on his own, then what hope do we even have anyway? I I'm not familiar with that word. Concocted. Perhaps you are right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine, enough. Let fate decide what happens next, whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Django. Today we battle in earnest. Uh, I don't think it's the time. Commander, really? We should join forces, not battle each other. But okay. What could you expect? I don't know. He seems to be like a very... Narrow-minded guy, whenever he comes up with an idea or he settles... He sets his mind on something, then he's just all about it. All in on it. Um, I'm gonna risk it with a strong style with Blizzard, because the accuracy increases. And also the power. And it's super effective and I took out Bravery, so yeah, that, this was the... The right call, for sure. Okay, Golem is next. I survive, that's good. Oh, but he attacks again, of course. And, yeah. To be expected. That was to be expected. Let's go with Samurott then. Let's go with Samurott with Aqua Tail. Strong style, as usual. I'm hoping for one hit KOs here. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I mean, I'm amazed that I'm able to make it this far with such an underleveled team, so. I'm already amazed just by that. Uh, slash, this is 55, this is 65, okay, Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail, Agile Style. Let's go for it. Obviously it's not gonna do much. Another Agile. It's not gonna grant me any turns, so... Gonna go for Strong. I don't think it's gonna be enough to defeat a Snorlax. Yeah, not even close. Not even close. And this guy goes for the Max Potion. Ooh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be... yeah, 
the end of Samurott, pretty much. Okay, what can I go for now? Uh, I don't know, well, I don't have any super effective moves. I don't know which Pokemon would be best against the Snorlax. I mean, I don't know if a Snorlax is like, uh, if it is uh, more physically resistant or, or if it is more, mm, you know, magically resistant. It's not magically, it's a special attack. I don't know which kind of attacks resist the most, is, is what I mean. But, uh, well, I'm just gonna go with Bronson and hope for the best. Yeah, that doesn't do much. Strong style, oof, okay, well. There goes Bronson. I don't know who to go for next. Let's go for with Luxray, I guess. This is gonna be the big... Um, the big obstacle, I think. The biggest obstacle is gonna be Snorlax. I mean, I, I don't know... what the last Pokémon will be. That might surprise me. So le let's see what happens. But for now, let's get rid of a Snorlax. And the last one is gonna be... Clefable, okay. Clefable... So steel type moves are super effective. Poison type moves are also super effective. Um, Bronson is down, which is annoying. <laughs> which is an issue. But uh, I don't know. What can I do? Well, first of all, let's go for the quick attack. I think the Omega also has a, a steel type move. Not super sure about it, to be honest. Okay, let's go for a wild charge. I'm not counting on Cliffable. I mean, I'm not counting on Luxray to survive, honestly. So I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can. Yeah, and there, there you go. That is all. That is all. Okay, Yamega... Oh, okay, no, Yamega doesn't have it. A steel type move. Bronson does, but... Yeah, like I said. Um, Bronson does, but... Uh, I'm gonna go with Orsari. But I'm gonna have to revive it, and I don't... Well, I have a max revive. I have a max revive. <laughs> that somebody gave me a while ago. The little girl, I think. So I'm gonna use it with Bronson. Thank you, little girl, for the Max Revive. I couldn't have done this without you. Um, okay, I have one move to, to attack, so I'm going to go with... High Horsepower, I think. I suppose Master Komodo is gonna heal Clefable at some point. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Okay. Well, he hasn't healed Clefable yet, which is nice. Now I have my chance, I suppose. Well, or I don't know, Clefable's gonna attack once more. But that's fine, Psychic doesn't do much. That's totally fine. Uh, is there a way to get an extra move? No. So, Flash Cannon, Strong Style... And let's hope this is enough. Alright, it is enough. Cool. We did it, my friends. <laughs> it's always very tight with these last battles. But, uh, but we did it. Very nice. I mean, I'm clearly underleveled, but uh, maybe not so much, considering that I'm able to progress in the game. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Okay. He's... Oh, nice. That's what I like to see. <laughs> After what you did to me, that's what I like to see. Django, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander... 
I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokémon living in Haisui. That's what I like to see. Very nice. <laughs> Don't you worry, Commander, we've got the red chain. Well, it's nice to see that the Commander is back in his senses. That's very nice to see. I'm gonna save the game real quick. Um, the problem is that I don't have any healing items. Maybe I can craft some... Oh, okay, no, never mind. I was healed already. Cool. So then we can keep going. Look, all, all our friends are here, I guess. Well, some of them, at least. And this, if you remember, I mean, if you've played the uh, Diamond or Pearl games, this is the exact same place where you find the legendary of that game. So I guess it's fair to assume that it, the same thing is going to happen to us right now. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head, something's talking inside my head. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adaman, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sino? I think Almighty Sino just spoke to me. It's telling me, you hold the red chain, try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls, nice, thank you. Those are gonna be very useful. So yeah, it's happening, my friends. What we prophesized before, it's gonna happen right now. Here it comes. There's the legendary Dialga, there it is. As we imagined. Okay, the red chain is gonna protect us, I suppose. Not sure what it's gonna do. Maybe calm down Dialga or something. Well, for now it closed the portal, it, it seems. Okay, here's Dialga, now we're gonna have to... We're gonna try to catch it. Uh, I mean, I could just defeat it and that's all, but... I'm gonna try to catch it, I mean... Why not, right? You don't always get the chance to do it. Um, let's see, super effective... For, for some reason... For some reason, all these Pokémon that I'm finding, the Alphas, this Legendary... They are all weak to Ground-type moves? It's just a happy coincidence. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna survive this attack, though. Yeah. As I suspected. But okay, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, no. Which one can I go for? Let's go with the Omega, I guess. They can use Crunch. So, which is the only effective move I have. Also nice, apparently, is that uh, I have two turns in a row. Hmm, the stats were lowered, the defensive stats. Maybe I should go for something else instead, maybe back bus. Which is not very effective, so... Ooh, wow! Wow, 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 okay. I got lucky there. I got super lucky there, I almost defeated Dialga. Nice. So it's in the sweetest spot to be caught. Like, very, very nice. Let's see. Let's switch to Ultra Balls then. I'm assuming it's not gonna work first try. It usually doesn't with legendary Pokemon. Okay, never mind. It did work. Alright. That was much easier than I, than I thought it would be, that's for sure. Awesome.
Very cool stuff. He got it. The red chain has shattered, but we owe the Pokémon of the Lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, Django, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did, you did. You did help a lot in, in the beginning. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sino. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga's speaking to me in my mind. Space time is torn, awful power spills forth, the frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? <laughs> I like his face. But the red chain smashed is smashed to bits. No way even Django could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. Yeah, does this mean that I get to catch Dialga too? I mean, yeah, no. Palkia. Does this mean I get to catch Palkia too? I guess. Well, that's that's pretty good news. Um, usually you always, usually you only get to catch one, but uh, well, in this game I suppose it makes sense, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, um, there's only one edition of this game. You don't have like A or B editions. So I suppose this means that you can complete the Pokédex with a single game. Or at the very least, uh, you don't have to trade for the legendaries, at the very least. I don't know if you will need friends <laughs> still for trading and stuff. I, d I don't think you do, but... Uh, well, all of you, we must vacate this. Uh, Ga, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on, we gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sino decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. Ya dance, ya won't be any use to anybody if ya die up here. What? <laughs> Why are you talking this way <laughs> all of a sudden? What are ya waiting for? I'm telling ya we gotta get gone. It's, it's like the commander forgot how to speak English. Out of fear. That was, pre that was pretty funny. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Django. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a build-up of this same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokémon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there really were two Almighty Sino after all. Guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Django. And to you, Django? I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Haisui. Of course, I mean... <laughs> if the end of the world is coming, we must do something, right? Well, it's not like we could just, we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. Yeah. I mean, these guys read my mind. They always do. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of com composure. Composure, I guess. It seems that having Django about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you are here, huh? We'd have had no chance getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it. How is he to keep fighting? The red chain has shattered. Relax, I've got a plan. Thanks to what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga? The Pokémon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. 
The stone of creation's beginning, the chain of red, the vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have at least... Ah, the red chain we have at least. The pieces anyway, I did collect them. And the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might, that might refer to a Pokeball. That's got to be it. But what about that stone of creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Lavington? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Probably not. Looking... Oh, well, never mind. Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Django, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdir and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Oh, they had messages upon them. I didn't remember this. Aha, just as I remembered, here on the back of the earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for a stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Lian might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellows come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin Or. Okay, the counterpart. Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Leon to the summit camp at once. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adaman, I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what of the great Meli? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Meli. Show a shred of respect, would ya? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adaman, and make it a good one. Is that how you show respect? <laughs> you want a job? Fine, your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adaman, oh, 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 you silly foolish boy, don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. Man, this guy is obnoxious. Certainly obnoxious. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grant. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts, just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Just shut up. Three candy truffles. Okay. It is one of the materials needed for crafting various items. Cool. Thank you. I've brought Leon. Yes, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consorted for my wisdom. High sweet swords and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to, rea to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle? With that bumbling ball of yours? <laughs> Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bag of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Perk Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adaman, everyone back home is... All okay, uh, this guy... Can you please shut up? Really? We have really important things to do. Better than... more important things to do than listening to you. 
Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the Primeval Grotto. Okay, finally things are getting going. Okay. These people like to talk a lot, <laughs> as you can see. Alright, let's see. First of all, I found this satchel. I'm gonna get the merit points for later. I'm gonna save the game also, because we talked a lot and uh, I don't want to go through that again. I want to make sure I don't. Now we need to go here. Head for the place where you can obtain Origin Ore. I can't teleport, but that's fine. It's not too far away and Bravery will, will take me there in no time. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I suppose we're gonna have to find five ores, right? Because we have five, we have five plates. So if we have five plates, I would assume that we're gonna need five of these ores. Okay, there, there seems to be alpha Pokemon there, but I'm, I'm gonna ignore them and head right inside the cave. Yeah, there's the ore. Let's see what happens now. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Liam? T taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining and the strength of my Sligo moves, I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? I mean, that's not the question they asked you, but whatever. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh, of course. These ladies, did you forget about them? <laughs> oh, come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover, we haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? Hmm, I don't have to tell you nothing. That lady's always angry for some reason. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We needed to restore this awful sky to normal. Ha, huh, that earnest uh, goody two shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough, I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Django. You take charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone. Who... Yeah, that's. It's like the Team Rocket, they have their, <laughs> their tagline, they always say it. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna read it again. Not even gonna bother. So she sends out Rhydon. Okay, Glaily, I think it's a good choice. I think Ice type moves should be should be powerful enough. Let's go with Blizzard. Hope for the best. Yeah, there it is. One hit KO. That's very nice. There goes Raidon. Who's next now? Gengar. Okay. So, with Gengar... Okay, nice. I survived. I was... I was scared there for a second, but... Uh, I survived. That's pretty good. Let's go for... A super effective crunch. I think it might be a one-hit KO, this one as well. Yeah, nice, okay. Very nice, for once I, I got lucky and... Uh, one Pokémon did all the work, that's good. That's pretty good. Most of the team levels up, which is great. Come on, Clover, why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing, we are changing. And we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. 
You are as strong as ever, Django. Maybe you really can do something about that uh, monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet you won't escape without a beating, remember that. Okay, bye ladies. Let's hope we don't see you again. <laughs> Or if we do that, you're not uh, against us. Honestly, those three, what did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokémon. Thank you so much. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Alright, there's the first door. I was able to extract some of that origin ore or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose it had better go with you, Django. Very nice. You obtained a piece of origin ore. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. Well, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Typical of uh, the, the entire Pokemon franchise, really. Uh, people tend to be very cocky in these games for some reason. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Laventon's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. What do you mean by silly streak? I didn't really get that. Well, whatever. Um, Alright, my friends, that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and see you in the next video.